Love can happen when we least expect it and it can surprise us in the most amazing ways. Becky is a beautiful Ugandan and a mother of three, while Ramsey is a kind and caring pastor from America. They both lived very different lives. But in 2018, one incredible moment brought them together and it changed their lives. Ramsey had to travel to Uganda to meet Becky in person and he had planned a big surprise for her. But it almost didn't happen. So I blocked him. Join me as I share the incredible journey how they found each other, fell in love and built a beautiful life together. Their story will make you get inspired and fall in love with love again. Most women want to fall in love and get married. But Becky's priority was different. After her two toxic relationships, she was no longer interested in love or marriage. She knew she had to take care of her family even if that meant to start from nothing. She made a tough decision to leave her three children with her mother so that she could search for a job and provide for them. But finding a job was hard since she had not finished school and life became a struggle. I looked for jobs even to mop a shop at least to get 1,000 or 2,000 a day yeah. so that I can support my mother who is suffering with my children. Yeah. I couldn't get a job. She helped street vendors wash their plates in exchange of free meals so that she would have something to eat. Becky made a life-changing decision. She became a born-again Christian and started her faith journey. She would sleep at church since she had no place of her own to stay. Despite the struggles, Becky's faith in God remained strong. Becky prayed to God every day, asking him to bless her with a job so that she could build a better life for her children. But then, one day something incredible happened. A lady at church shared a prophetic message that would change Becky's life forever. And this woman of God, she's a prophet. Mm. She said, Becky, the Lord has told me mm. to pray for you. Mm. There is to pray for you for a husband. There is a man who is going to come and marry you. I said, I want a job to support my children, but not marriage. I am tired she prayed while anointing me she, she said, gave me seven months she gave you seven months yeah and after seven months that this man is going to come did ramsey come in after seven months becky joined facebook to connect with fellow born again christians she also sent friend requests to pastors but the phone she used then belonged to her cousin it was already broken when she got it after using it for a while it shut down completely. If she didn't have enough money to take care of her children, she definitely didn't have enough money to get another phone. And she was offline for a long time. When she finally returned to Facebook in 2017, she was surprised to find a message from a stranger named Ramsey. On his Facebook, he had no pictures that you can see. He had wished her a happy birthday. Ramza explained to her that he received a notification about her birthday and he asked her how they became friends on Facebook. He sent the message and because I was not on social medias, mm. I had no phone. Mm. I never saw it in time. I replied, thank you so much, but um, yeah. I don't know how we, we became friends also, but anyway, God knows. Yeah. Because I was not remembering. When I told him God knows, he asked me, are you born again? Okay. I said, yes. How about you? He said, I am too. I'm, I'm a pastor in yeah. one church here. So I was like, oh, I think I'm the one that sent this guy a friend oh, yeah. request. We started from there uh, when we knew that we are all born again. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. When I 
told him about um, my situation, mm. he felt bad. It passed like one week when I've told him my situation. Yeah. So I blocked him because I was tired. But something in her heart made her open herself up to Ramsey again. But I think it was the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes, I didn't have that. I yeah. could say like two days without even opening his messages. But when I got data the next day, I asked myself, why did I block him? So I did unblock him. Okay. On that day when I unblocked him, mm. he sent me money. Wow. To take my daughter to school. He came by supporting my daughter. Mm. He never dated me. Oh, for the first place. So he came as wow, Yeah, nice because place. I was not looking for marriage and he was not. He was not. He was not. Wow. Yeah, so he could send me that little money to take my daughter to school. Yeah. Up to now my husband thinks that I'm the one who first told him that I love him. Or he thinks he told <laughs> You know how we are lovely here in Uganda. Yeah, and nice, when someone yeah. does something for you, you feel like you should tell them, oh, yeah, thank you, dear. You so sweet much. talk to them. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, thank you, dear. You're so good. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. Because I did it not mm, deep English. Mm -hmm. So I could tell you that I love you to show you that um, I appreciate what you do. He said, what? Yeah. Are you serious, mm -hmm. Becky? I replied, yes. And this guy, this guy started the sweetie talks from there. <laughs> Ramsey and Becky's online connection grew stronger every day. Over many late night conversations to each other, they started to learn and discover that even though they were on opposite sides of the world, they actually had a lot in common. When 2018 was ending, that's when um, he was retiring and wanting to come to Africa yeah. to look for the country where he is going to settle. But Uganda was not even close to the No, wow. no. Okay. It was Chile mm. and uh, Zambia. Mm. And I was like, but why don't you come and check on the girl mm. you're paying school fees for? Yeah. A few months later, Ramsey decided to travel to Uganda to meet Becky in person. Becky was very excited when Ramsey arrived in Uganda. They spent precious time together and getting to know each other better. Ramsey had planned something big, but he wanted to wait for the perfect moment. A few days later, Ramsey planned a trip to Zambia and he was very excited about it. But at the last moment, his surprise started to come apart. So when we went to the airport, I was denied with visa. Oh, sorry. Can you imagine? We don't even need visa to go to Zambia. Oh. But these people refused. You, did, you had a passport already? Yeah, but they told my husband, safe trip. Mm. But you, my man by then, who was yeah. not yet my husband. Yeah. But you, no. It's like, what's happening? But you know how it works on African uh, airports that they wanted... Uh, something yeah. and I did and uh, no yeah. my husband is from America and you can't tell my mom need yes Ramsey saw how disappointed Becky was and so he had to come up with another plan so that he could surprise her in a very special way he secretly booked two beautiful hotel rooms in Entebbe with a beautiful view of Lake Victoria in the morning he came to my door he woke me to go to have a uh, breakfast. Mm. We had breakfast. So he told me to move on the the what? The lake. Yeah. Alongside the lake to to just check around near the hotel. Mm. And looking like this. This guy was proposing. Oh my god. Yeah, he was now down with oh. the ring and we are all in I always see people saying yes. Mm. So what? <laughs> it is the best yes that I've ever said. Oh my God. Thank God I said yes. <laughs> After their engagement in 2018, Ramsey traveled to Chile to preach the gospel. He wanted to retire in Chile, so he planned that Becky and her daughter should join him there. 
Becky and her daughter applied for a visa to Chile, but unfortunately, their visa was denied. In 2019, Ramsey had to travel back to Uganda to marry Becky. Becky's family requested Ramsey to pay dowry. At first, he refused. To pay by bride price? Yeah. Why? He said, I will not buy my wife. Oh. What price can fit my, my girl? Nah. I can buy a wife. Mm. But according to the culture, mm. he had nothing to do. He had to respect that. Becky's family explained to Ramsey the importance of paying dowry, and he understood that paying dowry was not about buying Becky, but it was a way of showing respect and appreciating her family for raising her. And he eventually paid the dowry. After their introduction, Becky and Ramsey got married and they had many adventures ahead of them. I will follow you to find the way No matter what the world will say In the darkest times when there's no hope Don't be afraid, you'll never be Ramsey built a beautiful house in Uganda and they started a new chapter of their lives. Three years later, Ramsey returned back to the US. Becky applied for a spouse visa and she will soon join Ramsey. She will travel with her daughter so that she can get better education in the US. Becky is also considering to go back to school as well. My husband is taking me back to school. <laughs> God has done it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Finally. I did not study in Uganda, but I'm going to study in... You see, everything happens for a reason. I'm telling you. I can't imagine any man mm. who is better than him. I know. Yeah. Mr. Ramsey, you hear that? Actually, send him a message. Well, my husband, mm. Mr. Jen Ramsey, mm. a.k.a. Mr. Kalans, you were the best. You were the per perfect man. Mr. Kalanzi, you came from heaven for me. Yeah, I thank God, God for that. Yeah. How did you get that? No, I just said it. I was like, he's God sent. That's the name on my phone. <laughs> I call him God sent. Wow. Yeah. Becky and Ramsey have changed people's lives by supporting the abandoned kids and helping the needy through their charity organization, Bekram Africa. They are also building a school to transform many lives by providing quality education to the underprivileged children. Mr. Ramsey is truly a hero. He has not only changed the life of Becky's children, but he is helping other children in Uganda. Their YouTube channel is Bekram Africa. You can please go and subscribe to their channel and get to know more about them. To all single women out there, do not lose hope. Your story is waiting to be written and it's worth waiting for. Keep your heart open, believe in yourself and trust that God will bring you someone who will appreciate and love you for who you are. Thanks for watching Becky and Ramsey's inspiring story. If you were touched by their story, please subscribe to my channel for more interracial stories that I'll be uploading on my channel every week. Otherwise, catch you in the next one. Mwah.